This is a 2 before by GR3, and uh, we're going to try to put this together here pretty fast, keep the video down. What this is, we're going to call these the X pins on the table. This is the bearing side, this is going to be the motor side. These are the rail T slots and it'll be put together just like this for you when you purchase it. And when you put it together, you'll notice there's grease fittings. We want these to always go back towards the motor end. Right here's all the screws that'll come with it. But there'll be less screws in this because we put the screws in most all the pieces. So that way you don't even have to figure out where they go. Like I said, the bearing blocks go towards the bottom of the T-slot with the grease fitting going towards the motor side. When you put the screws in, it's, it's best just to snug them. Don't go tighten them all the way down yet until we get the unit put together. There's two sides. One has the motor and one carry, carries the bearing on it. And like I said, we're going to call this, some people call it the Y, but we're going to call this the X and going side to side here, the Y on this installation. These bearings, there's bearings like this on each axis. There'll be M6 screws that we use to attach these sides.
Now this piece right here, this carries the Y back and forth, we call it the X. There'll be T-slot nuts that we insert into these. You put them in the front side. And this uses three quarter inch quarter inch screws to attach to the Y leg. Now we're going to put the axe screw in. That takes this support and the long screw. You just slide it over. and turn your grease fitting up on your screw. Now we're going to use four number 10 socket screws. They're 7 8 inch long.
Now we're going to attach the motor to the axe screw. That takes, to put the axe screw in, we're going to need to pick up two of these 5 16 bearings and two 5 16 nuts. This is the motor mount. Doesn't make any difference which way you put it on. But you set it on, put your bearing in, Put your nut on the end. We're going to tighten it down. You want to just snug it up to the bearing and back it off a little bit. You don't want to press on that bearing that hard. And I find this is a good time on this axe because it makes it a little bit easier to get to. If you'll take one of the motor couplings, and place it on here now. And take your stepper motor and use four number tens or half inch long to secure this motor to the to the axe mount. I'm just going to put two screws in it just so we can speed this up a little bit. Set this in here. We're going to use four three quarter inch socket screws. Put this in place. The bolt in place. Now we're going to use two three quarter inch quarter inch screws. To secure this X mount ball screw to the cross nipper. We're going to leave them set loose. We're just putting, putting in, securing this in here for right now. We're not going to tighten it all the way. Now we're going to take the bearing, the other bearing we picked up a minute ago, and go over here to the X bearing end.
I'll have to remove this motor because I didn't realize I didn't get that bearing all the way in the, in the seat there. This nut got nut up. Now we're going to put the Y together. These T slots are set up with the Y carriage on them. They use three quarter inch bolts for socket screws. Trying to hurry, it seems like I'm going slow. Again, the grease fitting goes towards your bearing side. takes M6s. There's two holes to the sides that's threaded right here. They are, oh excuse me, right here. They're not threaded, there's two countersink holes right here. That goes towards the bearing side.
Now we're going to put the Y screw in. That takes this bearing, ball screw support right here. And you use four number tens, they're seven eighths inch long. Two bearings, 5 16 bearings, and two 5 16 nuts. This goes together just like your axiom down here. Slide the bearing in. It up too much, and if you do a little bit, just loosen it up. You can tell when your screw turns easy. You just want to back off to where your screw will turn easy. We'll slide this over, and we put two three quarter inch screws again. You'll see when you get it lined up. Now we're going to place the Z. That uses three quarter inch screws also. They're socket heads, whatever you want to call them. There's six screws to put this on. Of course, this is the motor side. It goes to the top.
I'm just going to put the bore in to speed up right here. Now we're going to put the Z faceplate on. This is on the back where you can bolt your router mount or spindle mount or plasma mount, whichever type that you purchase. And this attaches with M6s. I'm just going to put half of them in to speed up here. Now we use two three quarter inch socket screws. You'll slide this up until you see the holes that are on the support of this Z screw right here. And there's a couple extra bolts laying out here, but I basically showed you how to place this unit together. These extra screws right here, or like I said, I only put half of them in the face plate, and I only put a few in the back right here, but this way you can see how it goes together. It's very simple. We put a lot of the parts already together before you get it. So, uh, and this unit is extremely well built. If you look, my hand's just rubbing over the screw and it moves this ball screw carriage. And like I said, we call this the Y and this the X. But a lot of people call this the X and this the Y. You can make that whichever one you want in your setup in your program. But we just do it just for ourselves because our drawings are made up this way. And this is our Y and this is our X. You can see this is very simple to put together. Now just put a stepper motor on it, you just set a coupler on it. Set your motor on it, put four screws in, the motors are on. That's the same way on the Y, same way on the X. This unit is by far the best unit that I've seen on the market, especially in its price range. A lot of foreign companies are doing molded sides and drilled to fit. There's, the precision is not there as what a one piece milled out. The holes are within thousandths of an inch. If something would get damaged on one of these units, this unit can make this side. This unit can make almost every part on here. So this unit is, is by far the best unit. We've done this for years, and this, this construction on this one, we're really proud of it, because it is very, very stable. It's very precise. It's, it's, uh, it's the best unit we've ever made. Now, on this unit, after you get it put together, you want to put a top on here. MDF is, is, is a good, sacrificial piece to put on the top layer, but on the bottom layer I'd use something like a Bantac, some type of three-quarter inch subflooring. And when you screw it down on top of here, we give you T-slot nuts to put in here, but sometimes they're hard to work with. I'll just use self-tapping screws. But put you a square inside of this X to make sure you're good and square. If you have to leave the nuts a little loose, just while you're screwing that top down, go ahead. You want this to be as square as you can possibly get. But now if you get off a little bit, 
on the two screws over here, you can loosen it. There's an adjustment that you can slide this back and forth. After you cut a piece, you put a square to it, and if it's not dead on, you've got some adjustment here. Because a lot of people will bolt these down to tables, and tables not quite square, level. There's a lot of things that come into play. But this, this is set up to where you've got some compensation here that you can make it work. And like I said, this is these are precision ball screws on all three axes. Rail and carriage. A rail and carriage is the most superior bearing and rail you can get. It's more stable than, than any other type of glue that you can get. And they last for years. They have, they'll last the life of the machine. But this is a this is our two before GR3, and we just wanted to make a video to show you quickly how to put one together. And it's very simple, very minimal tools, and thank you very much.